welcome back students in today's video lecture i am going to let you all know the important topics as well as the concepts related to the course cad cam under j and h for r18 as well as r16 regulation before going to start the important concepts regarding this lecture i would like to let you know that whichever the topics i am going to cover here you are supposed to prepare all the topics so that you are going to able to write the complete question related to unit 1 unit 2 so on till unit 5 and you are supposed to work out in sequential order in order to get knowledge in this course you are not supposed to skip unit 1 and you cannot go to unit 2 before going to start this i would like to let you all know that there was a video uploaded in this channel like how to write the theory question paper pattern as well as how to score good marks was uploaded in this channel please go through it before that i would like to let you all no set an important points also so before that i'll cover unit 1 unit 1 is all about the basic fundamentals about the cad cam and the applications as well as applications applications of computers for design and manufacturing this is one of the very important question i am going to let you all know and do not skip this video where i will be letting you know which question comes from which unit later product life cycle design as product life cycle is one of the very very important question we can expect this question for this time as well as design workstation later cad cam benefits as well as database as well as software of the cad cam is also one of the b question in the first unit whereas computer peripherals for cad cam is also asked several number of times dear students whichever the top uh, topic i am stressing here please be particular with those talks later advantages and disadvantages of the cad cam is also one of the 8 mark or 7 mark question from unit 1 and we can expect one question from this i mean till this uh, advantages that may be 1a as well as 1b whereas the second question is from the geometric modeling where you are supposed to work out each and every parameter which i have gone through the geometric modeling like wireframe modeling concepts of parametric and non parametric as well as the explicit and implicit curves related to non parametric curves is also one of the very very important question and the the representation of curves i mean the fitting techniques and the cubic spline bezier as well as b spline definitions may be asked from the unit 1 whereas we are going to talk detailed about the bezier as well as cubic as well as b splines in the second unit but whereas you can expect the second question from this that is nothing but 2a as well as 2b students and do not expect the direct question from the computer aided design as well as computer aided manufacturing why because it is all about the theory and it is all about the complete knowledge related to the computer in design as well as manufacturing let's look at the unit 2 i can expect this time two questions even from the unit 2 it is all about the surface modeling algebraic as well as geometric form dear students without having a knowledge of this part you cannot focus on this make sure that the student working out the second unit should have a basic minimum fundamentals related to the geometric modeling of wide frame then only he can go with the surface modeling later in the surface modeling cylindrical surface or the ruled surface may be one of the important question which is asked several times or spherical surface or the bezier surface when the bezier surface you are going to work out please do work out the convex hull property of the bezier surface is a very very important and gun shot question from this talk even the blending functions from these topics we may expect a 3a as well as b dear students make sure i repeat again without geometric modeling of a student is going and working the surface modeling he cannot understand the topic so this syllabus is in chain structure where you are supposed to work out accordingly as how i am discussing with you all later the second unit consists of a solid modeling concepts of cell composition as well as the constructive solid geometry is one of the very very important and gun shot question for this semester later sweep as well as the boundary representation from this topic we can expect the fourth question a as well as b dear students please do focus in the first two units without skipping any concept which i have explained in this video later let's jump into the unit 3 it is all about very interesting from here we are going to talk about the manufacturing part of the computers whereas first and second unit is all related to the design aspect 
later nc is all related to the numerical control its elements advantages and applications make sure to draw each and every drawing only in pencil and focus much on writing in terms of points instead of paragraph dear students later cnc computer numerical control as well as the direct numerical control and their differences is one of the very very important question which is asked several times and the repeated question once you are working out this this unit helps you in the fourth as well as the fifth unit this is all about the numerical control part programming that is all about the manual as well as the computer assisted part programming the question may be like list out the differences between computer aided part computer aided part programming as well as the manual part programming or list out and enumerate the nc part programming the question is same and the answer is i mean the question may be bit diff difference the answer is same and later course processor of the cnc and adaptive control control systems i am expecting only one question for this time or if possible they may be giving two questions if If two questions dear students from these concepts you may be getting one question and from this concept you may be getting the second question but i'm expecting as the third unit is very short in its structure we can expect only one question later adaptive control systems is one of the very very important that may be a five mark question and sometimes they are asking to work out the program on cnc as well as they may ask you giving certain g codes as well as m codes and they will be asking you to define what that code mean so make sure that this unit it is very very important and if a student is taking any course related to design in its mtech it is very helpful related to cad cam course in your ms or mtech dear students make sure to work out accordingly later let's look into the unit 4 it is all about the continuation of the third unit related to the group technology the parts classification part families as well as the coding is one of the very very important and gun shot question which is being asked several times and we can expect even this year also later machine cell design production flow analysis as well as machinability data systems is also one of the very very important question dear students and gt part families as well as benefits coming to the group technology if you go on reading just uh, once you can remember all the concepts and do not skip this units and these are very helpful and very easy i am expecting two questions from this i am expecting this part as uh, one of the question i because the unit is too lengthy in its structure let's look at the next part of the unit 4 is all about the computer aided process planning retrieval as well as generative type is also one of the very very and most times asked in various uh, regulation question papers difficulties in traditional process planning as well as material risk manufacturing resource planning is also one of the sub unit in the fourth unit that's the reason dear students i am expecting the two questions from the unit 4 this time and the records as well as benefits of manufacturing resource planning capacity requirement as well as enterprise resource planning dear students if you look at the pattern and style of the cad cam it is all about the chain structure if you skip one unit and if you go to the other unit you may not be getting interest in this course make sure to work out each and every unit in the sequential order how i am telling you all so that you'll be getting benefit out of this course and scoring good marks and it is one of the scoring subject let's look at the unit 5 it is all about the flexible manufacturing system i mean fms and its layouts equipment as well as benefit if this question is asked they may be focusing on any of the terms like list out the layouts or the equipment and benefits with a neat diagrams later it consists of certain sub topics this unit consists is uh, will be getting one question that may be the eighth question and this unit is also too lengthy as you are preparing for your mid, mid term two for the upcoming examination so that this unit may help you all for the external examination also the next part of this is computer aided quality control automated inspection i mean the offline online inspection contact and non contact lex inspection please do work out this and coordinate measuring machine is a several number of times and its types and the machine vision is one of the most expected question for the semester later computer integrated system as well as benefits is the last topic in the cad cam where computer integrated manufacturing is nothing but the cad as plus cam put together called as computer integrated manufacturing this is a style and passion of the uh, cad cam dear students please make sure 
and ensure i am going to let you know certain plans also the plan a is for the students who are just willing to pass can go one and two units dear students and the plan b is for the students who would like to get at least 50% or 70% of marks can go with one two three is very very important and the third unit is very easy you can just read it out and plan c is for the students who are willing to work out for the concepts as well as the scoring better mark they can go either 4 or 5 is the option i can tell you not no need of going to both the units you can either go with 4 or 5 but i tell you to work out 4 why because i'm expecting the four two questions from this unit so that you are going to work out all the concepts which i have let you know in this video please make sure to work out accordingly First, you need to work out the geometry, I mean about the wireframe, later surface, later solid. This is all about the design aspect and later NC, CNC, DNC as well as group technology, flexible manufacturing system, quality control as well as CMM as well as SIM benefits. Make sure to work out accordingly and score good marks and for more videos, whichever the subject you would like to know, please do comment in the comment section so that I will work out and post in my channel. I hope you are liking my videos and do subscribe and share my channel with your friends which may help them. Thank you and good luck for your exams.